and close Nexus. I don't need Nexus open right now. You could also set your, is it OBS Oops. that you're using or Streamlabs? Yeah. You could also set it to just capture the game window instead of your screen. And then it would cut out your uh, task bar. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, what's up, Irishot? If, if you know how to do that. We are live, officially. Sweet. Irishot, how's your day? Just playing some uh, Fallout. Actually, I'm not playing quite yet. All right, let's see if I can get this to... There we go. It's doing the thing. All right. Hey, Mike. Uh, so we have a special guest today. The special guest is my oldest friend, uh, Just Danger. Just Danger, say hello. If you want to, you, you can actually Ayo. say whatever you want. I, I said I said Ao instead that, of hello. That works. I that hope works. that's okay. I'll translate. That means hello. I'm accompanied or at with. At least the, that's what the kids tell me. Yeah. What, what what caffeinated beverage are you having today? Uh, <laughs> the the decaffeinated americano. Mm, Richard, the old just dangerous a little sensitive to caffeine these days, so I gotta uh, keep it light. Like Good for you. Good for you. Ooh, all right. The war never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans. So I know you can't see the live okay. stream, this danger, but uh, absolutely. Now we've got a horrific picture on there. screen right, right now. It's uh, no. so I'm making okay. a build based off of a ghoul. Can't wait for the my Icarus Club. Okay. Heck yeah, let's do one. Iron shot. I'm totally down. We're gonna do one soon. Uh, someone in chat. A awesome YouTuber, Irishot, shout out. Dennis, what's up? Uh, wants to do a collab. Oh, no, what did I do? We got a crash. Epic crash. Oh. Let's see if we can. I've been getting crashes as of late. You guys like my uh, oh. des desktop picture? Just for my Fallout. But that's the only game I've been playing nowadays. Well, actually, also, uh, Just yeah. Danger got me into Baldur's Gate uh, 3. I've got, about, I've got about two and a half hours on that. All right, let's try this again. Anybody we should take uh, over under bets on on how long it's going to take you to complete your first campaign. How long do you think it'll take? No crash. Yeah, I know, right? Someone jinxed well, me in chat. Well, the, the the thing is, I don't I don't know how. I don't know what your orientation is exactly when it comes to a uh, uh, storm. You might be right, Mike. Oh, you cut out. War never changes. Oh no, I'm You're alone. Dead at the veterans hall tonight, huh? Oh, that is so. The wife looks horrifying. Absolutely. Now get ready and All right. stop hogging the mirror. Let's see. Right. So this is a character build I've been working on called the Ghoul Deacon. Um. So, I guess let's start messing with his face. Uh, oh, are you back? No? Okay. What's happening? Okay, let's see. So, this character, I don't have a name for him, but uh, he's going to be an antagonist in the uh, Bullfrog story. So, I just thought it would be... Oh, no, did it? Okay, we're good. Let's mess with his hair a little bit. Hair. There we go. So these like next couple uh, live streams that I do, it's, I'm just trying to get comfortable with live streamings, technical errors, stuff like that. Uh, but eventually in the future, we're going to do a uh, Elder Scrolls panel with a bunch of uh, YouTubers. So look forward to that. Uh, just danger. Are you there? No. I, I'm here. Can you oh, hear me? Yeah, I can. I, I didn't hear you for a while. Oh, you cut out. Oh, okay. It must, yeah, I'm, I must be in a weird spot. I am driving through uh, the middle of Northern California at the moment. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. So did, did you hear? Did 
did you hear me when I asked if we should take over or under bets for uh, how long it's going to take you to complete Baldur's Gate 3? I did hear that. I did hear that. Okay. Okay. Oh. Like, I don't know what your orientation is with that type of game. I don't know if you're like a completionist that has to explore everything or if you're going to rush through the story. So I, I have no idea. So I'm yeah, pl- like, I, well, how I, you're going to do it. I'm playing a, uh, a warlock consistency see i agree i shot every i'm gonna try to do every saturday at 10 a.m i didn't promote this only because i'm oh and thank you for uh the recommendation that you sent me on dms it's gonna be very helpful but i didn't promote this just because i'm i'm learning and trying to figure out and the product is in uh it's not worth promoting in my opinion but uh so i'm playing a warlock in um uh baldur's gate and uh yeah, I, I'm I'm seeing that there's a lot of stuff you can just dump time in. Like, uh, I set up my first camp, and I spent probably 25 minutes just talking to people. So okay. it could be a long, yeah. it could be a long uh, playthrough. I've thought about doing okay. a series yeah. with it. What right. kind of series? I don't know. Uh, I would just create a character and do something similar to my Skyrim stuff. I mean, ba- essentially, Baldur's Gate functions uh, similar to in the way that I play Skyrim. It's just you don't need mods. Ooh, I like that hair. Is the day we met. Right. I hope one day they... Um, I don't know if there is a modding community yet, but I hope they do institute it at some point. So there's, uh, first of all, how's everyone in chat? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, the company that's doing, uh, put together Baldur's Gate is actually like, they're done with it. They're not doing any DLC and they're moving on to something else. Oh, wow. Yeah. They just released a statement yesterday. I clean up. Which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. Yes. I see your comment. Wait. Yes, you said, hmm, what did you say? Get healed by radiation, possibly, and f- yes, that's that's a great idea. Uh, okay, back. And then, yeah, I think we'll just get started. So, I think this character is going to be called... Let's see, this is a dream, and I need to wake up. This alternate start is a little bit clumsy, I feel like. Uh, I was in the Commonwealth and just stopped to rest. Uh, how long did it take you to uh, finish your first Baldur's Gate uh, playthrough? What makes me special? I believe uh, on my on my first run, it was a um, hundred and ten hours of game saved time. Or wait, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. A hundred and ten hours of game saved time. But my Steam Steam had counted me as having played, um, I believe, 130 hours. For one campaign. Um, and because, you know, there was a number of times I, like, had to go back and revert to an old save to either fix a bug or get out of somebody dying or whatever. So that's why there's a difference between the two sets of time recorded. Someone said there, there is mods... Uh, foolish breath love the name uh they said that there's mods on nexus so well you, you'll have oh, to check that out okay. yeah we'll have to d- dive into that i don't imagine it'd be up. very robust yet but who knows i'm gonna give some luck to this character by the way if you guys have any input on what you think this character should be like just let me know uh what are my unique traits Broad shoulders, bruiser. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's mostly cosmetic. Okay, cool. Well, I really care about that, personally. Oh, intelligence and charisma. So I think this guy... This guy's gonna be like a relig... If you watch Walking Dead, he's gonna be like a religious version of Negan from The Walking Dead. If you're familiar with that TV show. 560 hours? Dude, I love it. That's great. That's hardcore, Dennis. You're a legend. Okay, let's see. Uh, Four eyes. 
what is heavy handed? You swing harder, but ex expend more energy. Your melee attacks do 20% more math. That's me. Uh, I'm done. Or was I really? Uh, I was chilling in the basement. That sounds great. How many hours of sleep did you get? Just danger? Uh, about six, six and a half. Yeah. Right on the borderline of acceptable for a 14 hour road trip. Well, how was dinner? Was the fried rice oh. top notch? Oh my gosh. Tapanyaki fried rice. Uh, I ate I ate so much. Nice. Intelligent I, I perception. Ooh. Definitely okay. did the bad thing for my stomach, and it was the best decision I made all week. <laughs> I'm sure the uh, the hot chicken sandwich didn't help either. <laughs> what am I doing? So one of these questions is, what am I doing with my life? And I feel sort of judged right now by the question. In game, it says, what are you doing with your life? I don't know. I'm playing video games. Leave me alone. What what do I have what do I have with me? Plenty of gear that are is that oh yeah, I remember. I wanted to change. So you said intelligence and perception. I don't know if I would do intelligence. I'm thinking a strength build because he's gonna do a lot of melee combat. Um I think he is. But perception might be good. So maybe we'll take down this. And then we'll take down agility and add charisma. I feel like he would be charismatic a little bit. Uh, my Skyrim hour is well over 12k hours. Bravo. That's well, impressive. Thousands. Yeah, I might, that's 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 impressive. Uh, you, that's a champion right there. Uh, you deserve a special badge. A decal, it's, it, a bumper sticker. It's hard for me to count my Skyrim time because I'm. Um... In himself, he sees he basically it, through like a cult that um, other ghouls are enlightened. You can see it in the sparkle of their eyes. What do I have with me? How much do I do? I'm still not sure who I am. Oh, what did I forget to do? So I did that. All right, we already picked one, and that was heavy-handed. That's me. I'm done. Okay. And then what am I doing with my life? Uh, I think we'll do... I'm a raider. It fits. Where was I really? Did I already do that? Yeah, did I just do that? Uh, I was in Concord. Fair enough. What do I have with me? Plenty of gear. We'll just do that again. Plenty of gear. How much do I know? I'm on level one. And enough. It's time to wake up. Okay. All right. Now I can go to chat. Uh, ooh, really? That's that's awesome. Peaches. Played on 360 to Xbox One. I haven't played console in a long time. Sorry about the... Uh, Seeing my task bar on the bottom, it was something I should have fixed earlier, but I didn't. Don't judge me, I shot a few there. I'm uh, I'm ha I've not had an energy drink in a long time, so we're gonna see how I handle that. Whoa! All right, let's see what we got. So I'm gonna basically just do a survival playthrough with this character, but I will be doing a let's play eventually with him, Kane. Uh, how how long of a drive do you got just danger man it is so hard to not refer to you as your 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 christian your christian name sure just danger um i think i think from here it's it's probably another save options nine hours Oof. save i'm i'm just estimating at the moment because my my app doesn't show me the total remaining travel time. It just shows me the remaining travel time to the next charging stop. I appreciate that iron shot. Iron shot. I got on the road at like 530 this morning. Uh, 
This is a judgment. Oh, yes. Okay, three. So we got some good weapons. All right. Pist pi we got a pistola. All right, I'm not playing on survival mode. Uh, don't judge me. But I suck at this game. I'm no good at it. I'm a good, no good for nothing. Let's do, let's do normal. All right. Uh, you didn't see this de just danger, but uh, last time I played, I think I died. Uh, this is the actual number, a kabillion times in a row, on my on my live stream, a kabillion times. Okay. Yeah, it was ridiculous. A kabillion. Wow. A kabil yeah. How many zeros is that? For you, just, you can't even add them up. People were pretty annoyed. Wow. Yeah, I got yelled at, brutalized, abused by the chat, and they made fun of me. To hurt my feelings, I cried. No, they, everyone was very nice and Dag, kind. Yo. They were gentle. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it is. Good, got a good group of people in the community, you included. Just Danger. I'm just gonna start yeah, calling yeah. you Just Danger in real life, by the way. Uh, you you can, but so that's there's, right. There's Dennis. been a little confusion. <laughs> But can you you can you can hear me now, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. So there's been a little confusion about the name, and I feel like it's time to clear it up. So like, it's it's just danger. Am I saying it you right? You know what I mean? No. Well, you're me. saying just danger. You're saying just danger, as if just danger is my name, but it's just danger. Okay, you want me to try again? Can I try again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> hey. Just danger? How is that? <laughs> How is that? I, I, so, so, so drop the just. Oh, okay. Hey, just danger. No, wait, hold on. Hey, wait, no. <laughs> just danger. Sorry, I'm killing yeah. a. Uh, there you go. That's but, easier. But That's easier, I, right? I mean, I prefer the just. Okay, I go with your heart. Aww. All right, thanks. I just, you know, I the, the, when I when I came up with that name. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, I, I forget exactly the context, but it was like my nickname for years was Danger, and and so I would tell people just call me Danger, um, and and then and then I came up with the just Danger, but then people started calling me just Danger instead of Danger, and so then I was like, well, that's. That's kind of a, a funny joke within the name that people aren't getting. So maybe it's not really a joke and I did a bad job curating that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you know what? This is yeah. my opinion. Uh, inside jokes. Uh, it's it, it's like uh, y y if you don't if you don't know and you're not in the inside, it's, it, you're not privy to it. We didn't let you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't gone out of my way to inform <laughs> people. You know, you know how many people on the internet that are out there with the name Danger. So I had to I had to say that it's just Danger. You know, for the sake of having my name displayed differently, but I still just you, you don't have to say the whole two words. You can save a word. Oh, Think of all that extra time you'll save in your life by not saying the word just. I like it. I'm getting shot oh. by uh bandits. All right, I'm going to look at Chad. Oh gosh. Uh <laughs> Oh, I'm dying. Uh, I want you to stay as long as you can. Uh, okay. Just danger. I almost got. Uh, but if you do, gotta go. Oh, oh man, I got I got all the time in the world. It's more just about cell phone reception. Okay, good. Uh, do I not have any? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna look at chat one. Let's see. I'm gonna calm down. Dennis, you're awesome. Dennis, love you, man. Uh, my D and D sessions didn't start because the group wasn't feeling well. Oh, that sucks. Hey, I've never played D and D before. I think eventually, though, with ju just danger and maybe another couple people, we're gonna do kind of a live D and D session through the magic of Baldur's Gate in the future. So, stay tuned to that. Um, yes, freelance D and D, nice. Okay. Uh st oh, stim packs. Okay. <laughs> Give me drugs. Oh, I know what I'm missing. The uh, bullet time. 
Do you play uh, Fallout at all? Bullet, uh, uh, just danger. I almost called you Bullet Shillelagh. Hey, you almost called. <laughs> That's your OG. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> oh man, I've, 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 you know, I've honestly thought about going back to that name. I mean, it's um, a great name. Can I give a? I'm fond, I'm fond of it. But sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, the people in chat a little bit of a backstory about who you are, how I know you. Sure. So, yeah, yeah. Sudden, what's up? How goes it, man? Welcome to the stream, friend of the channel. Uh, so, me and Just Danger uh, were mercenaries in uh, Lower Gl uh, Mongolia a long. long time ago. Uh, and. Yeah. A bunch of different places, but yeah. Yeah, let's not get out details. We could get in trouble. And, yeah. uh, you know, he was coming from a different agency, and uh, we just became fast friends. So, yeah. You know, you you really you do a lot of bonding when you're, you know, doing deep uh, inside the borders of enemy territory. Let's not, let's not give any too many de uh, details. We could get in trouble for that. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, you, uh, or, or we could tell him the real story, <laughs> which isn't much of a story. Okay, we'll tell him the real story. <laughs> so we were both, uh, I was an alligator wrestler, and uh, no, uh, so I've known Just Danger since kindergarten, <laughs> and uh, just, we're basically brothers more than, than uh, friends. Would you, you? Would you agree with that? Oh crap! Hard disagree. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I'm not right about no, everything. Of course, I, of course I agree. Of course I agree with that. Oh crap! That's. Are you getting beat up on? I mean, I'm always getting beat up on, but I was getting eaten by like a, a mutated uh, mole rat. Should I? Oh yeah. Those should I kill this person? It's a settler, but it's a uh, yeah. It's just some dude. Chat. Should I should I take them out? What do you think? Just danger. J danger. Danger. Should I take uh, them I, out? I would say I would say pull, pull your pull your streamers. I I have less uh, I have less skin in this game. I can't see what you're doing. All right. The 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 ghoul deacon would he would take him out. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna, right. as Dennis would say, I'm gonna follow my no longer beating heart. Wait, do ghouls? Do their, does their heart beat? I don't know. Goodbye. I'm out oh, of crap. practice on my, I'm out of practice on my Fallout lore. Yeah, I'm, I'm horrible with Fallout lore. I would assume that it does. Well, the nice thing about Fallout lore is it's all entrenched in our lore for the most for the most part i mean it's an alternate reality but we're like opposed to skyrim everything's you know built into it's all just made up yeah so uh, that's the nice thing too about making uh oh hold on one second don't do that oops oops martin we can't come back well okay martin this guy's a bad guy well in his heart he's a good guy well i use the term heart loosely Sorry, Martin. Martin, I didn't do it. Kane did it. That's not his official name, but it's what I'm going with for the moment. Can I can I ask you a question? How, how many how many times at this point in your in your life do you think you've used the name Kane as a video game character? We up into double digits. Triple digits. You know, only you would like have context. To like know I'm the to only ask person that, that would know to ask that. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> do you know why I use that name? Uh, from uh, from that there was that one uh, vampire game back on like a OG yeah. Xbox or something. So when I um, yeah. yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll explain that to chat. So uh, full undead ghouls don't are living, but living ghouls do. Okay, interesting. Thank you. So back in the day, my exposure to uh, Bethesda games was through an awesome game, my favorite game of all time. Uh, I don't know how it holds up nowadays, but it's Morrowind. And I had a character, and I named the character Kane. And so I just, that's my de facto. Oh man, we have to kill. 
So I need to download a mod that allows me to make the ghouls passive. And I found a mod that uh, allows that. What is going on with this guy? Doing a little I dance. like the mod that makes them swarm like a walk, like makes them swarm like um, like 28 oh. days later status. Like oh. they sprint at you, it swarms. I, I do think that the ghouls are the coolest part of, uh, well, the feral ghouls are the coolest part about the game. Cause they're, they're, when they yeah. you get swarmed by them, it's, it's pretty scary. At least for me. Yeah, for sure. They really can sneak up. I like when you're going through a, uh, an abandoned building, they'll crawl through the windows. I hate that, but also simultaneously oh, yeah. love it. All right. Uh, I'm stuck. Want to know where I'm? St oh yeah. Oh yeah. Back to the story. So uh, yeah, Morrowind, and we played a lot of Morrowind, and uh, yeah, there was a lot you of summers. Have, you must have had at least five different characters named Kane on Morrowind alone. Yeah, I I think I always stuck with with Kane. I branched out. Who knew I was gonna make a YouTube channel? Oh, crap, 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 crap. No more ammo. Oh, shoot. I'm running out of ammo. Yeah. That's a Better problem. Get that crowbar. Ooh, do I have a crowbar? I, I don't know. Oh, I do. You should always carry a melee weapon in the Fallout series. You're right. I had one. A tire iron. There it is. It's a very, like, serial killer weapon, I feel like. It's just a, that's just a make do weapon. Yeah, you're right. It's it's a uh, gain through desperation. Yeah. Heck, well, I'm always streaming with friends. Sudden. Yep. But uh, yeah, this is my. No, there's, oh, that, that that old vampire game that was is that on 64. Nintendo 64. Yeah. By the way, what's the best uh, c console game of all time? Anyone have an opinion? Just danger. You're not game. I mean, uh -huh. what's the best console of all time? Oh man. I might go with the PlayStation, the original uh, PlayStation. You know, I'm a little bit biased, and I'll have to say PC, because it keeps updating, mm. and you just buy new components for it, and you keep the same library, and you never have to rebuy your old games. Well, okay. So... If we're talking console cons, I understand the actual question. I was being... I was picking nits. Uh, well, this... Oh, I died for the first time. This is what I would say is... uh. If this is just through the consideration of like nostalgia, not necessarily, yeah, PC is it, you can do the most with PC for such and yeah. such reasons. So I would agree with you. Uh, Nintendo 64 is pretty cool. Console goes, yeah, Nintendo 64 was definitely one of my favorites. I thoroughly enjoyed the GameCube, though I know it had some pretty significant limitations compared to its competitors. Um, Ugh. yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, it, they're, they all, you know, they all had their, they all had their merits and their purposes at their point in time. Uh, um, I think the switch is pretty damn cool. And, um, the switch is cool. Uh, something, you know, about I that. would say, I would say the, I would say the one that was that probably had the biggest impact on me was probably the 360, Xbox 360. The um, Halo franchise was just awesome. Just in terms of technological leap and performance. Which, by the way, I've been watching the Halo lot of, lot of TV things. show. Oh, I forgot that that came out. Yeah, uh, season one. Okay, real quick. This is an Icarus opinion. So yep. if someone differs with me, that's totally fine. I'm going to speak from a place of personal honesty right now. Uh, the first season, they changed so much stuff. I mean, like, first of all, them showing Chief's face right away, like, and basically the opening episode was jarring in itself. Um... But so the first season's horrible, in my opinion, but I still watched it. And then season two gets better. So do I recommend it? Yeah, if you're a Halo ah. fan. Uh oh, frick. Mm. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, oh fatality. I'm dead. Okay, what did uh I'd say the best console series is Dark Souls. Dark Souls in Channel Arms. All right. You know, I have never played any of the Dark Souls games, though I would feel like that those might be uh that I would love them. Uh just or danger, have you played uh yeah. any of the you Dark know, Souls they, games? I haven't I haven't played them not because they don't look amazing. They seriously look like some of the best games of all time. I'm just not that much of a sadist. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. I don't I, desire to punish myself that much. Although I do play Hunt Showdown, so and Star Citizen. <laughs> yeah. Both both those are problematic. All right, I will get wrecked. I will get wrecked, sudden. Yeah, it's uh, it's I I would say like you have to be pretty competitive with yourself to. Because you're constantly dying over and over and over and losing your gear and stuff like that. I've actually never played one before. I've seen people play them, though. Uh, I feel like if I were to play a Dark Souls game, I would feel like I'm playing Zelda Ocarina of Time as an eight-year-old again. And, like, asking people to beat the boss for me, you know, because I was too scared to do it <laughs> myself. It's good times. <laughs> Oh, Majora's Mask. I remember over the summer oh, you yeah. playing Majora's Mask, but then I would just come yep. over and then turn into a Goron, I think it's called, those big rock guys, and just roll yeah. perpetually <laughs> for like 20 minutes. I'm looking for a gun yeah, right now. That was, that was fun. It's the, the, one thing that, uh, the one thing that bothered me about Majora's Mask, like it was a great game and a great story, I think. Um... But it just made it too difficult, or like I didn't like yes. the time reset, no matter what, even after you beat the game. Right. So even if you you beat the game and you go back and you're still playing around, you still had a set time limit before the the game would just reset on itself. And I thought that was silly. Like if you beat it and lifted the curse, you should just get free roam indefinitely. Why didn't they do that? Yeah, it was there was it was mechanically c cumbersome at times. I do agree. Yes. Yeah, that's the right way to say it. But uh, I did like being able to become a what are the fish dudes and the sniper. Ooh, I will. I want. So that's my favorite style to play is as a camping sniper. One six six. Hey, I'm modding in some some ammo. I'm cheating. Did it come in? No. No, it didn't. All right. Zero, zero, two, four, five, D, six, A. Come on. Do I have ammo? No. What? I thought it was, uh, it was asking for 45 ammo. 45. Oh, oh I did the wrong dumb. caliber. What'd you say? I said, I feel so dumb. I just realized you, you're still working with a single monitor, right? No, no. Uh, actually, I was talked into getting another one. So I do have another cool. monitor. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was, I was going to say, at this point in time, I have a spare I could have brought down to California for you, but I forgot. Dang it. It's okay. I know you would have done that, though. I mean, that and I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I've seen some people that have some pretty amazing setups. I think yeah. you have a pretty good one too. I, yeah, I've been I've spent way too much money that I don't have on mine. C A. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> I got a nice. I got an ultra wide monitor at the moment, and it's lovely. You only live once. Yep. I think so, at least. Allegedly. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. There, there's some discrepancies out there. We won't, we won't get into that on a, a Fallout live yeah. stream. <laughs> How's, uh, oh, okay, uh, Resident Evil PlayStation game. Oh, one of the greatest jump scares of all time was in Resident Evil. The dog jumping through the window, but never, never played a Resident Evil game. 
never played. I, I have a couple, but I've never played them. Maybe I maybe I should do a maybe I should do a stream on that. Where did you? Where, when did you get a Resident Evil games? Uh, they were gifted to me by a friend that got me into PC gaming. He had a couple spare copies from like a humble bundle, um, and so he just gifted them to me on Steam. But I never I never even downloaded them. I never played them. Da. Uh, yeah, they look fun. They look like a lot of fun. Um, I just gunned down a settler. I didn't. I, for, hey, hands in the air. I didn't do it. Kane did it. Okay, I. That was horrible and hurtful and wrong. Um, I'm sorry. I had to watch that. Actually, so okay. Speaking of like jump scares and games that freak you out, have yeah. you heard of a game called SCP-5K? Yeah, uh, it's like a demo. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely an early access game for sure. You're you're in like a home uh, and you're walking through and you it's like a poltergeist scenario. Well, stuff's no, happening. Oh, maybe I haven't there, heard of it. it no, so this is this is different than that. It's um, it's like a modern military shooter, but it's strategic and puzzle solving and there's zombies and weird paranormal shit but you're like you're hired, oh. you're hired by a corporation it's kind of like bad company oh. but you're hired by a corporation to like go out go in and pick up some some you know data and some files uh to complete like you know corporate cover-up or something right but then yeah there's some there's a bunch there's a whole bunch of weird shit that happens um, but that is a game that's definitely got some jump scares into it, and you have to be extremely conservative with your ammo. You start out with nothing but a knife, and you have to like go around killing zombies just with a knife, and then uh, and then scavenge for weapons Dude. and ammo and health. And Re it's yeah, it's nuts. Hold that thought real quick, or that uh, yeah. let's see, I want to do it. Ah, yes, modded Skyrim on PC, but don't have the monies. I get it. PCs are expensive. I have a 40 yeah. inch higher dev monitor. Yes, you do. I've seen your setup. Well, I haven't seen your monitor though. That'd be cool to see sudden. Uh, watched a demo on Resident Evil seven years ago. That was when I found out that the franchise genre or because, oh, uh, Silent Hill. I have played a little bit of Silent Hill. It's, uh, it's, that's a scary one. Yeah, that game sounds awesome, uh, Danger. It's, uh, you know, it seems it seems like it's got a little bit for everybody. You've got guns, scares, uh, and then your. Uh, how do you feel about puzzle sh solving in games? Are you a fan it of it? Depends on how it's implemented. Um, in in this game, it's like navigational. So it's it's not like you walk into a room and there's a puzzle to solve. Yeah. It's like okay, this path is blocked. I have to. I have to investigate the area to find ways to unblock it, you know? Um, okay. And it usually involves like steam valves and stuff. You have to find a part or you have to find fuel. Uh, you have to go scavenge for fuel to go uh, get a generator started to lift a gate, you know, stuff like that. Have you played Kar Kartov? Oh, uh, ex Escape from, from Tarkov? Yeah, Tarkov, yeah. Uh, I have not. Uh, I have friends that play it. I've watched them play it. I I love the premise, and it's very similar to Hunt Showdown, which which I've introduced you to on a couple occasions. Um, is very similar to that, but it's way more hardcore. Like Hunt can get my adrenaline pumping and potentially give me a, an anxiety attack. Oh, I guess you're right. Tarkov, Hunt is kind of like would Tarkov. Give me an anxiety attack. <laughs> well. But Tarkov doesn't have the like uh, voodoo zombie element to it, which is sure. freaky in itself. I don't know if you still get freaked out by that stuff because you've been playing it for so long. No, I, I've been playing it so long. It's, I mean, it's it's all part of the atmosphere, and I'm very you comfortable become, with that atmosphere. You become numb to it. Yeah, I don't feel I'm much anything. Close, I'm getting close to logging as many hours in Hunt as I have in PUBG. So I, you could say I'm familiar. You never play PUBG anymore. I say no, I sound never, disappointed, yeah. but I never played it either. Yeah, I played a little yeah, bit I with you like, guys. 
Yeah, you played a bit in the beginning. Um, I got up to like 1,400 hours in the game, and then the developers started really making some changes I didn't like. They did a whole lot of stuff that basically all of the things that they'd added to the game that me and my friends enjoyed were not what the vocal minority liked. <clears throat> and so they made a big enough stink and got all the good stuff removed. Uh, or they changed the, you know, they got a new map and the new map has a whole lot of terrain variety. And then people are like, oh, there's too much verticality in the game. Come on. The cliffs need to be lower. Don't make the buildings Frick. as tall. I can't see people. They're like, that's the whole point. You have to be strategic and find ways to accomplish a mission. And people just want to be lazy. They don't want to have to work for it. And so then they take a map with a lot of verticality, a lot of variation, and then they squash it and, and just make it bland. Um, and so after like the third time they did that to one of my favorite maps, I just called it quits. Yeah, that, that sucks. Hold on one second. Let me uh, respond to chat. Got a couple. Uh, hey, Icarus, your thoughts on me doing it? Oh, I like that. It's a great idea. Uh, for your builds too, because I'm such a story focused person, I don't necessarily focus on the specs of the build. I will say like, oh, fire magic or frosty magic, but I always like backstory and stuff like that. So, but I like, I like your idea a lot. Um, it's great. Helldiver too. Oh, sudden. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Danger, the guy I'm talking to right now, Bizbud, uh, he plays Helldiver. Oh crap. Game's only been out like two weeks, three weeks, what's it been, three or four weeks, and I've already got like 40, 45 hours logged in the game. Uh, I can, if, if you're, this person's actually, he's a friend, so I can hook you up with his information if you ever want to play uh, play with him. Uh, j danger. He's, he's a really cool dude. Yeah. He's from South Africa. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a oh, YouTuber nice. too. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. Awesome. But yeah, so okay. just let me know and I'll, I'll give you his information. We can talk about it after stream. Uh oh, I almost have no health. Good thing. Uh, so, do you know what a uh, danger? Do you know what a uh, perma death playthrough is? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good thing Certainly we're not doing familiar. that. Have you played that before? Have you done that before? Uh, I think we did no. do that. Me and you did that. <laughs> oh, I thought we did something Remember, like that. Well, well if. Oh wait, 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 well, what what era are you talking about? Is this back in the Morrowind days or? So I think what, there was like a that? time. Ooh, I'm adding a bunch of gear. Uh, I think there was a time where. Oh crap! No, 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 no! Ah! Hold on. There's these like. I don't know what they are. Night stalker pups. Leave me alone! Oh, and now there's mosquitoes. Frick! All right, fight amongst each other. Uh, I think there was some times where we were messing around with like builds. And one time we, I think it was you. We did like, okay, you can only die five times or something like that. Maybe it wasn't with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we definitely used to have rules like that. Just okay. to make it a little bit more difficult at a, at a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but doing, doing single death, like, Single death elimination builds is not my thing because I get attached to my characters. Nice. Yeah. I'm so in the future, once I get uh, more comfortable with uh, live streams, I will do create a story, put a lot of effort into it. I'll probably do it with Skyrim, though, not Fallout. I'm getting closer to moving away from Fallout. I let some people in the Discord know that. Uh,. But uh, I will move back to. I think basically I'm gonna do two more characters and then uh, and then I'm done with Fallout. Fallout's great. It's just the modding scene is. I, so I like uh, Bethesda games because of the mods, pretty much exclusively. That's why I play play these things. Personally, I mean the lore and stuff is great and fine. Um, and then also the malleability to be able to create characters. Uh, is fun, but uh, ba Baldur's Great uh, Baldur's Gate three though might be taking the cake though. Uh, just danger or oh, da yeah. danger. There we go. 
I'm gonna have to unlearn yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. So I'm having, but, I'm already no, I, having I, a I, hard time not saying your real name, and then now I'm like, oh great, now I've been, I was saying your <laughs> name wrong. I know, I've almost slipped and said yours several times already. Oh nice. Um, <laughs> uh, Dude, would you would you uh, ever play, hold on one uh, second? I'm help? using okay. I'm using oh Blader. I see Blader. You're there. I already think I said hello to you, but hello once again. Uh, I'm using a muzzled, powerful hunting revolver. Uh, what were you gonna say? Danger. I was yeah. Uh, I was gonna ask if if you uh, if you would think about playing Hell Divers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not against it. I mean, it looks like okay. a blast. It's yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's purely cooperative. There's no PvP, it's only PvE. <sighs> so I think you're, because I know you're not the biggest multiplayer guy, so I think that would be, you know, it's just cooperative. But there is friendly fire. So no, there you do is? have to learn. To, oh, yeah. And the devs, the, the, <laughs> the devs refuse to turn off friendly fire or give people an option to turn it off because they think it's funny how much people are killing their own teammates. <laughs> Like, the devs have actually come out and said that. Yeah, we're not going to change it because we think it's hilarious. I saw a video where they were, like, there's a lot of meta stuff going on. So certain planets that are getting taken over. And I guess, like, I've never played before, so I don't fully understand what's going on. But they're, they're, they're getting yeah. reinforcements. But I guess there's a lore in the game to why it's happening. But it sounded very meta. What was going on? It was, like, this guy named Tom yeah. that's... I don't know, I didn't fully understand, but it sounded interesting. Yeah, I, I haven't paid attention to all the lore, but there's a recent thing that just happened where oh, crap. The, de the, the devs gave us a new set of missions, and it was like basically going to this planetary installation to bug bomb the planet, basically. Like, um, you know, the, you're fighting against these, these mutant bugs, um, and you're supposed to go to this installation and release this poisonous gas. And so, like, that's the objective. Everybody has to go bug bomb these planets so that we can kill the Terminids once and for all. And then that was, like, a week or two long campaign for the entire community to participate in. And then that campaign gets complete. And they basically go, oh, yeah, so there's some, like, redacted files that are coming out that indicate that that might actually be exacerbating the bug problem and causing them this. to evolve. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, like, it's just, it's the devs trolling the community through the missions. I, yeah. I just, I find it highly entertaining. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, sudden, I'm excited for uh, your, your, you and uh, Jag's collab that you guys do in the future. Uh, me and Jag need to touch bases and figure out uh, our series too soon. It's always fun. Although I've never done a collaboration with anyone before. Yeah, yeah. Helldiver is a uh, it. It just works for all the chaos that's in it. It's just yeah. it just works. It's like it's a. Uh, is it a bug or a feature? Toxic gaming community. Is like Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the thing is, you don't have people playing against each other, so nobody's using racial slurs against each other and stuff. Oh, you They're said just, it's... Everybody's like, ah! Oh, you said it's, it's not it's a least, toxic... I heard... It, the, okay, I understand what yeah, you're it's, it's one of the it's one of the least toxic communities I've seen in gaming. Oh, that's and awesome. And it's because you have everybody fighting against the other thing while working together instead of fighting each other and talking trash to each other. Yeah, I mean, you, I'm sure there's still some. No, yeah, but it's yeah. it's shockingly low. Yeah. 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 Everybody's everybody's anger and ire is directed toward the enemy, which is not a person. Yeah. I'm sure there's occasional griefing. Maybe. Sure. Like, do you yeah, know? Oh, there definitely is griefing. <laughs> do you remember playing I can tell you about some griefing. Halo? And uh, you'd get grouped up with a annoying group of people, and then there there would be a guy oh, who would just yeah. face down, and then start throwing grenades on the floor, and you just start self sabotaging the map yeah. just for. I so, may have done that yeah. as a kid. So I can't it, remember. It's it's interesting that you bring up that example, because um, so in in Hell Divers, there's things called stratagems, and they are things from your spaceship that's in orbit above you that's supporting the mission. 
when you activate a stratagem, you throw a grenade on the ground, and then it sends a light beam up to your ship to activate the stratagem. And that stratagem could be a jet fighter airstrike. It could be an orbital rail cannon strike. They can kill you. It could be a giant bomb. It could be a giant bomb delivery. Yeah, because friendly fire is on. That's right. So, so you can. So anybody on the team could accidentally or intentionally wipe out the entire team with the wrong stratagem at the wrong time. And and there is a bug in the game where sometimes, like normally they bounce until they find solid ground and then they stick to the ground. But there are occasions when you can get it to stick to your friends. Yeah. And so, and, <laughs> and so there are times where I could have a non-lethal stratagem, like a resupply drop, and it'll, it'll drop a weapon or an ammo crate down to the location. But if I stick that stratagem beacon to my friend, that's where the that's where the resupply is going to land when it hits the ground. And so if the beacon is right on their head, it's going to drop that resupply right on their head. Oh, nice. Or not so really nice. Not nice. Uh, no, that's not, no, it, it, it's not nice. It's the opposite uh, of nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there there have definitely been times where. Uh, I may or may not have done that intentionally to some of my crew. <laughs> you can well, also, you, you just can also use it to kill. This is a yeah, safe place ahead. for you to confess these yeah. these shameful yeah. acts I, of. Uh, let, me, let me bring up my sins. Yeah, of. Uh, yeah. What, 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 do you, what do you call that in in combat when you accidentally friendly fire? You just yeah, napalmed yeah. your own your own people. Yeah. But apparently it's a, a common thing. It's very common because it, it's in cl such close quarter fighting so much of the time. Um, and there's, you know, a lot of the time there's four of you clustered together fighting off waves of hundreds of bugs or, or automatons. And so you're like, well, the only way we're going to survive this is if I get, a, if I get a, a bombing run that gets real, real close to us right now. And it might kill us, but it'll definitely kill them too. Kamikaze. Yeah, but then you can also, you know, that same stratagem bug that allows me to kill a teammate. I can also use that same strategy against a heavily armored target that I'm having trouble killing. So there's these this one type of bug that's called a charger, and it's yeah. basically a heavily armored rhinoceros. Um, and what? you can't shoot it. You can't shoot it with conventional weapons. You have oh, to oh have, it's a bug. Um, it's one a bug. Yeah. Yeah, like one of the insects. Yeah, yeah. Terminates, uh, if you will. But it's so heavily armored that you can't just shoot it with a rifle or a shotgun. You have to hit it with like armor piercing rounds and even that, but those aren't very effective. So you have to have like anti tank explosives. Or you can just nail it with a stratagem. And and like throw a resupply on its back and it'll sell that send down a hell diver pod that just crushes it. Oh shoot. I heard what you said. I'm just getting yeah. jumped by a dude in power armor. No worries. No worries. Yeah, yeah the like like I said with that game, it, it it appears that there's a lot of things that could be theoretically a bug and then it ends up being like, "Hey, this is a feature. This is actually really fun." Oh crap. Ah. Turn on flashlights. I'm doing everything that I don't want to do. How do you throw Oh, I got him. I got him. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not against playing that game at all. It, it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. What, what did you say, uh, Sudden? Remind me play, playing Quake, LL. Oh yeah, Quake. Yeah, Quake was a really mm. fun game. Oh, uh -oh. Gee. Did you ever play Qu uh, Quake? J uh, Danger? Yeah, way way back, way back in the day. Yeah, uh, Quake. Uh, I felt like Quake was similar to uh, Doom, the original Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very similar. All right. Uh, I'm just meandering around. I, ho I hope as you're driving. You're watching the live stream. I, my, I would be devastated if you weren't. 
just one eye on the live stream. I, 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 I'd prefer you if you had three quarters of your eyes on the I live would, stream. I would like to talk. Well, and then oh, one, one quarter on the road. Can, can you do that? I don't. I don't. I don't know that I can have. So if I open up the YouTube stream, it's gonna play the audio from the stream, and that's gonna be desynced with the conversation. Um, and I don't know if I can turn that off. I'm turn totally, that sound off separately. I'm totally joking. It, it would be so dangerous for you to. Oh, to oh I know. That. I wouldn't actually be watching. I'd put it in the minimized view just so I could take a glance every now and then. But I actually, I haven't still, been, yeah, that's still not safe. <laughs> I haven't been able to figure out how to go through discord and then also on my phone silence like just mute or yeah mute the audio oh what the freak oh it terrified me i i slept in a bed and then there was some people like on a clothesline but instead of clothes it's bodies on hooks and i woke up and oh and there's a head i'm while you're driving. I thought you loved me. I, th I thought we were I do, friends. Man. I do. What's all this? I'd lay my life down so for you, Junk. I, I, and I still would. Put it put it Just on the line right, right now. now. Do it for Just the not stream. right now. <laughs> Fine. I gotta make sure I get home to my doggy. I know. I bet you miss... miss You guys, are, yep. you guys are best buds. <laughs> yeah. Is that hard being uh, away? Even, yeah, definitely. Well, you know, we, he he sleeps on the bed with me, so I'm used to having something to cuddle with. How does uh how, do, and, does he uh, travel yeah. well? Um, not great. You know, he he's a big fella, and so being cooped up in a car for a long period of time is tough. And, and then you know if I if I make sure to take stops at dog parks and whatnot, then that just makes the overall travel time that much more. Which on a trip like this, where the turnaround is so quick, that's really hard to make time for. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, then you got to figure out where to stay, and I wouldn't want to stay where there's already a bunch of other dogs. Like all of my siblings and my parents, they all have multiple dogs. Um, so. It's hard for me to bring him along when there's other dogs territory that he's going to be invading and he's already a bit territorial. I mean, he's super friendly with other dogs and everything, but anytime you get territory involved, it, it can get a little rough with a German Shepherd. Sorry, man. Yeah. So and I'm not saying that to you. I, leave him home. I just shot yeah. some dude. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine our dog would I mean, I don't do great on nine hour for driving, you know, driving yeah. trips. So putting an animal in that, that's it. I mean, you know, I would if I, if I had to, but it's just a long drive. Yeah. Is it it's nine hours total or is it longer than that? No, no, no. <laughs> nine hours from when you and I started talking. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I've already been, I've been on the road since... Uh, 5.30 this morning. So oh, I've you... been driving for five and a half already, and it's probably going to be another eight and a half, nine hours. Yeah, you woke up early. Did you say uh, yeah. bye to uh, mom and dad? Yeah. You wake up before them? Oh, I said, I said goodbye last night because they probably weren't going to be awake by the time I left. Wow, you're an early riser. At least in this case. <laughs> I, in this case, I am because I'm eager to get home, but normally I sleep till like nine or ten pretty easily Ooh. yeah just because of work i mean i have the capacity in some depending on my schedule to be able to sleep super super like my my sleep schedule can get really really wonky but just because i have to wake up early for work i get up pretty early yeah. on my days off uh-huh like i woke up at like i think like 6 10 this morning which was uh uh, late for me. That's sleeping in. Sure. But yeah. if, you know, I don't have to get up early, routinely for a while, I'll wake up at you know, I could w sleep until 10. But I'm also staying yeah. up crazy late, too. What's crazy late for you? 
Uh, so if you if if you came to the house and we were just to chill and hang out and play, uh, like games and whatever. Um, I mean, if we've got energy drinks in the mix, it could be two or three, and I have like no responsibilities. It, it just, I can okay, be yeah. really, really lame too and get sleepy. Uh, but I wouldn't mind staying up that late. Old times. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds that sounds about right. We should have, we should have me. a sleepover. <laughs> that actually would be fun. Uh, oh man, that would be so much fun as adults. Dude, it's been so long. So we have to get uh, we have to get Da Vinci's. Uh, sausage, pepperoni, jalapeno. I think that's the yep. pizza we got. And then, uh, uh, yep. Are they still around? No, they're not. I I think they're uh, they're they're a um, uh. They're actually replaced by a better place. They're a uh, pizza place that does Indian fusion pizza. It's really, really, really good. So there's like a tikka masala pizza, stuff like that. I think you cut out. I lost my wingman. Everybody in chat doing good? It's a chill morning today. I'm just hanging out. We'll do, I'll do more stuff in the future uh, with uh, live streams, but I'm just trying to I guess they'd get comfortable. Security's too good. Have fun. Oh, come on. Dying whipper snapper. Um, and then I'm gonna work more on this character after the live stream's over. All right, let's see. Uh oh. Big giant explosion. Not good. All right. These little eggs. Oh no, these aren't eggs. Delicious fungus. Okay. Oh, what's. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Are you dead? It's kind of peculiar for Mire Lurkers to be inland. Uh, doing good posted a perk you'd like by oh okay nice awesome thank you mucho appreciated are you back in misio misio danger okay let's keep me moving Uh, so with this character, ah, uh, the magic invisible wall, um, I will end up having it, him, um, interact with Toad and he's going to be basically a brotherhood of steel assassin. He's a cleanser. So in function, he's kind of doing the same thing as the brotherhood of steel in that, aw, that sucks. Uh, they're going through and, uh, oh, that freaked me out. They're going through, uh, a newspaper, um, and clearing the wasteland of, uh, what they feel like is a lesser, you know, harmful things. Uh, the ghoul deacon kind of does the, the same, uh, in the sense that he, uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh. Uh, but he does that specifically with, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Crap, is that guy in par power armor? Oh, crap, 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 crap. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Oh, that guy is in full armor. I love using a little six shooter. It is so much fun. We got a fat man and uh, welding goggles. So let's see what we're looking like. Throw on the welding goggles. 
see what we look like with the chest piece. Uh, I like that a little bit better. So we'll drop that. We don't need two. And then the welding, welding goggles. Dude, we're looking pretty gnarly. Um, with the ghoulish perk. All right. Have I leveled yet? Yeah, it appears so. Okay, let's see. Can we take... Can we take the ghoul perk? Ah, uh, not yet. You said ghoulish perk, a part of the endurance line. Oh, I didn't realize that each line is connected towards each... I didn't know that. Ah. Wow. Well, the more you know. Okay, so I think we'll go Gunslinger. Just do a little bit more damage. And then uh, I'm going to see what's on these uh, nice people that, that uh, sacrifice themselves so that I may scavenge from their lifeless bodies. I appreciate you, dead, dead, uh, dead raiders of the uh, wasteland. Keep my ammo coffers full. I'm thankful for you. Yeah, thank you for the uh, recommendation. Um, I uh, mucho appreciate that. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I am. One thing that's nice though about Fallout is uh, I like um, playing with guns, you know, rather than just magic. But I. Oh crap! No, 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 no! Crap! Go, 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 go! Get down, get down! Move! Hot dang! Alright, I need to put my weapons on. So let's get rid of this, and then... Put you on... Six. Okay. Ooh, someone's coming. Got him. Or her. I got the person. They are dead. Beware that the perk, though, heals you more than rads. Get put. But Oh, okay. It sounds like, though, thematically, the, the perk would go perfect with this build. I'm going to download a ton of mods, too. Uh, I can show you something. Actually, let me kill this. I'm going to die. Is that you? Danger. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the game. To those who are watching. Show you what I got. Let's see. Uh, let's pull this back over here. And then I think I bookmarked. So there's a thing called a Nemesis Pharaoh Ghoul. This. So I think this is going to be a friend of the ghoul deacon. This beast. So, and he's just going to have... So uh, the thing, though, I have to find a... Um, uh, this is based off of... Uh, what is it? It's a replacer for... Um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're these giant little raptor things. So, but I just feel like this would look really, really cool as, uh, something that's serving the, um, the ghoul deacon. I like that name too. The ghoul, the ghoul deacon. Have I done a voice for the ghoul deacon yet? Kinda. Kinda. I'm working on it. It's gonna be silly probably, but I mean, all my voices are silly. For the record, I don't take anything that I do. I take it seriously, and though I try, but I know it's just me kind of winging it and trying to figure things out. Um, I'm just, I'm just having fun.
I'm just having fun. But yeah, it would be cool if I could have one of those things with the ghoul deacon. And then the way that I see the ghoul deacon, this character, is he him just moving through a sea of uh, other... Um, uh, other... Uh, feral ghouls. Ah, see, si. bien, bien. I speak almost no Spanish, uh, but a little bit. So, it's it's definitely if I was to start learning a second language, though, it would be Spanish. It would be Spanish. Maybe one day I will. You speak a foreign language, Dennis. I don't, I don't know if you want to share, but what's, Got it. what state are you in? You don't have to share if that's too personal. You don't get, I, uh, I think I've said this before. I'm in California. California. California's gold. Get out of here. Okay. Let's keep it, keep it moving. So, yeah, it's like one of my funnest things. If I see an object in uh, the environment in any, ga any game, I've got to blow it up. I have to. I just have to. I feel wrong not to. All right, I still do need to level up. And I think we're going to go with endurance. Just because I really like that perk um, that Peach has shared, I think. I got a little of that. Bravo, though. You speak Spanish? You speak Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese? Jealous. No wonder you're so good with language. That's impressive. I barely can speak English. Like, I, I have uh, a little bit of... <laughs> but that's pretty good. Is it hard to learn new languages? A Latin? Yeah. You've uh, ran some Latin by me. I feel like knowing Latin is really helpful for uh, for writing, just for certain stories. Uh, the Romance languages. Yeah, those are. I love Portuguese food. Well, I love all those foods. Um, someone sounds really angry. What are you doing? Please pay attention to the demonstration. Okay. What's the demonstration? What's the demonstration, good sir? General Atomics. Well, leader and consumer robotics. Our dependable line of Mr. Handy Household Robots huh? will free you from the drudgery of housework. Hello there, there. And our models are legendary. Oh my gosh. Okay, you seem like you're not going to actually do anything useful, so I'm going to leave you. Yeah, Latin's good for uh, casting out demons. I don't know, I feel like in movies they're always speaking Latins when they're doing uh, exorcism. Skeletons. What's with all the bodies? We do have a lot of satisfied customers, don't we? They almost never leave. I still have one booth left. It would be my pleasure to serve you. Uh, just look in. Yes. Sure. Right this way, pun. All right. We going, cowboy? Oh, this is a restaurant? Oh, I'm not gonna get killed, am I? That's better. Now, how can we serve you today? Uh, charbroil? Diced? Mash? Oh, you're in Michigan. Okay, cool. Oh, right on, right on. Oh, very cool. I bet you're very... Yeah, yep, yeah, you did share that with me. 
Yeah, that's super exciting about your daughter. I bet you're very, very proud of her. Uh, I've got a three and a six year old, so we're very far away from uh, college. If, if they want to go to college one day, uh, I wouldn't dissuade them from that. Uh, you learn Latin first. I feel like Latin, so is Latin easy to learn from uh, the, because uh, English is Latin based, right? So uh, we'll take it charred broiled. Wait, what? At Handy Eats, serve you bizarre cook. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. Run, 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 run. This is crazy. It's a crazy robot. Ah! Oh my gosh. English is old English based. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Who's talking? Guard Gutsy? So what, it's like a little bowling alley or something? Oh man, my back, my back. Oh, this is, this is, uh, we got a little bit more time, but this has been a really, really fun stream. I enjoyed uh, hanging out with you guys and uh, it was fun spending some time with my uh, good friend, Danger. A lot of multitasking. Hello? Hello? Danger? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was just I'm saying. Here. I was just talking about you. All bad stuff. Oh, oh okay. I can't afford that. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. None of it was true, but they don't know that. Yeah, I, I popped out of the... Uh, I, I lost cell phone connectivity for a while, but I got back on and I could hear you, but I could tell you couldn't really hear me. So I jumped out of the channel and back in just now. And that seems to have reset it. Sweet. Oh, well, good. Welcome back. I'm getting killed by robots. Nice. By the way, are you going to get anything to eat on the road? Uh, I just had a, a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks at my last stop right before we got this stream going. Um, I probably won't eat again until I hit Medford. Um, there's a, there's an in and out there that's right by the station, so I'm gonna use... Ugh, so I'm getting burned! Sorry. Uh, nice. Yeah. Would you ever work at a coffee shop again? I'd consider it. That was always a fun job, I just wouldn't work for Starbucks again. Okay. Just like, very corporate. Uh, is that why? Yeah. Uh, very corporate a lot of it, you know when I when I first started there it was a very relaxed environment where you as a frontline employee could make decisions that were for the good of the customer and the company um, and and you could just do things that made sense and now everything is so dictated by the book that it's impossible for anybody at the bottom level to have any sense of autonomy. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's just, you know, that's the way corporate America's gone across basically every industry. Um, sorry, not to get political. <laughs> no. That's just, that's, that's just where I'm at with it. Yeah, if I if I were to go work for a coffee shop again, it would definitely be a small local one uh, where I'm at. Um, <laughs> Higher quality coffee that way too. Yeah, n not mass. Yeah, I think we had this conversation yesterday. Thousand dollars for bowling? Yeah, it's like a rip off to me. Uh, my sister is engaged. A French diplomat. Very cool. That's awesome. That's really cool, Dennis. Um, yeah, I'm wondering the stories that uh, he has coming, going all over the world. Um, that's that's cool. Uh, we were talking about. Food, danger, uh, danger, we were talking about food. I can't remember, but you were saying basically something to the extent of, you know, when you, oh, it was, we were talking about flat tire beer. 
and how oh, fat it's tire. such fat yeah tire. fat tire. Yeah. Dang it, I did it again. Uh, but how you know it's so accessible that it ends up it's impossible to make it gourmet because everybody has yeah. to like it. So I guess that's right, true exactly. of Starbucks, maybe. Not that I'm a coffee yeah. connoisseur. I do. I do yeah, have a. Very uh, similar. I do have a 2022 Red Bull. Uh, you know, I've been shelving it for a little bit, and I thought I'd bust it out uh, for this <laughs> live stream. Like fine age. Energy drink. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, so it's a two year, two year Red Bull, sugar free. Yeah. Uh, oh from, yeah. From it, the tan- Italy. The tannins will have mellowed nicely. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um. Oh, and okay, so. Um, we'll just talk this out on a live stream if if you're comfortable yep. with this. Uh, we can change uh-huh. the subject if you want. Um, but for our but um, so this is what I'm thinking for in the way that this is kind of running in in conversating with you. It's it's it feels really really good just to hang out with you on a live stream. But yeah, uh, what I'm noticing too is like I can't engage with chat fully. It's not even a can't. It's just like I'm just talking with you and I'm very like focused yeah, on totally. playing. And so what I think, what I would end up doing is when we did our um, Bethes- or our uh, live streams for Baldur's Gate, I- I'd like to try um, to do it like as a midweek thing, like just like an extra thing. And it would just be for me, it would be what this is. It was like, hey, I'm just here to hang out and chill. I mean, that's kind of what we were talked about doing, but you know, shooting for whatever time we can do it through a Monday through a Friday, if that works for for you and John. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we we can talk about it. We'll have to we'll have to coordinate and see what works. Um, hard for me to say at the moment, especially since I'm job hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's going to be yeah, hard to coordinate, uh, you know, regardless. But, uh, yeah, it's just something. Yeah, I mean, it and doesn't then, really it, matter it can, to me I, particularly what day we do. Well, I think, too, for me, it's going to be kind of like what I – I'm learning a lot from this session, and it's just super Im- informal. You know, it's just here, hanging yeah. out, having fun. There was no... The the plan was just, just to be comfortable and just, like, let things be what they're going to be. And I'm like, I think that's what it, that's going to be. It's just, like, just letting go, having fun, and hanging out with friends and playing a fun game. And so, yep. uh, by not putting it on, like, a high-traffic day, I know it's, like, some it's something... Just stuff that I think about makes it so it's just like yeah like nobody sure. has to I watch mean, yeah, just... by, yeah like by the nature of what we're going to be doing it's going to be hard to interact with chat. I mean, like i plan on streaming it too so it's just going to be a more of people can come and watch if they want it's really it's really for us but we're not going to be able to interact with the, with the chat very much. yeah well especially if john, you know, john we'll is there can, but... if john and another yeah, yeah. person are there like it, it'll almost be well it is yeah. possible, but what it ends up happening is it's not as enjoyable. If that makes sense. Yeah, totally. So it's like oh, I, 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 I totally understand. Oh crap. Oh crap. Dude, I'm getting like lit on fire, shot. Oh hit with a baseball bat. Like all the bad things are happening to me right now. So this guy's got yeah. a giant flamethrower. Just a Monday for me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk more. Oh crap! Yeah, for sure. I mean, we—I'm not saying we can have to stop talking about it, but I said it. I said what I wanted to say. Yeah. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, catching up on chat. Uh, my sense. Oh, German. Uh, my grandma was German. I never got to meet her, but uh, my grandpa actually married her from uh, World War Two during the uh not during the war but after the war uh i just you are in the future you're 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 futuristic you are two you are two hours ahead of me yeah so if you're if you're in the future time wise can you say that that person is futuristic oh crap i'm gonna die how's the drive how are you uh sleepy Danger. No, I'm fine. This is, this has actually been a, a really nice, uh, helpful thing that, that's keeping me awake. Um, right now, I, I just stopped uh, outside of Reading, and I'm charging my car at the moment. 
Yeah, it totally worked out. When you were in town, I was like, you know, it'd be fun to just do a drop in hangout live stream. But this essentially is exactly what it'd have been like. So I'm glad, really glad yeah. that we got to do this. And then also, this is like exactly what it's informing me how uh, doing the Baldur's Gate three live stream is going to be like. And it's just going to be just like this. Us uh, just chilling, playing, hanging out, having a couple drinks. Yeah, exactly. So it's just going to, to me, it's like a boys hangout. Yeah. Uh, you're three hours ahead. Yeah, you are very futuristic. Uh, my sister lives in San Francisco. Oh, nice. Nice. I have uh, one of my best friends lives in San Francisco. Very cool place. Great food there. I have no idea where I am. Okay. Uh, yeah, do you have a... I know I asked you if you were going to get anything to eat, Danger, but do you have uh, places, like little stops as you're going down? Well, I know you're really focused, too, on uh, getting your car charged. Yeah, yeah. So, so it basically all revolves around charging my car. Wherever it is I'm stopped to charge, that's when I have, you know, 20 minutes to go grab a bite to eat, use the bathroom, stretch my legs. I didn't. You remember Dan? Uh, I probably shouldn't say his name. Never mind. Okay. I was gonna. <laughs> old friend of the past. I mean, it's not like there's a ton of people on the stream, but still. Uh, but there was a neighbor I had. You knew him too. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. But yep. he uh, he used to call food birdie num nums. So I call him oh, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He's a si he was a silly goose. Uh huh. Uh, Yeah, I, I like, I'm going, Dennis, responding to your question uh, or, or comment, um, I've started going on more what I would call adventures. I'm actually going to be going to Oakland soon for a little fun thing. Uh, but I do like home a lot. Uh, danger, though, I feel like you're always wanting to go. You're definitely a guy that likes to go out and uh, what I would say is like go on an adventures like often. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would like to often, but rarely do I get to. Yeah, well, they cost money. Oh, yeah. dude. Oh! Well, yeah, I really just got vaporized. Rest in peace. All right. Well, I think we're going to... I think an hour... I, I've been figuring out the time on these, but I think an hour and a half <laughs> is good. Um... I'm thankful. Uh, you don't have to go just danger, but I'm thankful for everyone yeah. that hung out today. And uh, you guys are all awesome. I always appreciate the support and the friendship. And uh, I will see you all next time. Uh, not very soon, actually, very next Saturday. So be good, be faithful, uh, and add, add victorium, as the brother would say. All right, later.